Spider-Man. I think I figured out how Fisk's men are keeping his rockets running. Construction sites. Wasn't that shut down when he was arrested? No, it's one of his legitimate businesses. Multiple investors. We can't act without cause. But now you've got that, right? That's why I'm hoping you can keep an eye on the locations. Tell me if you see anything suspicious. You got it. I'll be your nosy neighborhood Spider-Man. My loyal listeners, brushheads, they call themselves, though uh, I've never quite understood why, will remember my warnings about the downright Orwellian crime monitoring system the city was installing. It's not operating. Why? Because someone came to their senses and realized they'd be violating civil liberties? Wrong! Because those incompetent bureaucrats built a network that crashes more often than a wino driving a bumper car. So your tax dollars got wasted, and there's nothing to show for it. This is about as close as you get to a happy ending in the real world, kid. Yuri, I'm at a Fisk construction site, and there's a lot of guys here who aren't exactly constructing. What are they doing? I want to go find out. Huh, just got a text from Doc. Looks like he attached an idea for a Spidey gadget. Man, does he ever stop inventing? Wow, this looks like it could work. Place is locked down, Captain. Actually, web down. And someone finally reported shots fired, so I've got officers inbound. Good work. Huh, it's Mr. Lee. Hello? Peter, it's Martin Lee. I just wanted to let you know we need a little extra time to get set for May's party. I guess the cake delivery is stuck in traffic. Oh, sure thing. Uh, just let me know when you're ready and I'll swing by. Great. Talk to you soon. Okay, got some time to kill. Let's see what's happening out in the city. Hi, Mr. Muggins. Uh, this is about the rent. Mr. Parker, it's called, sir, to turn the final war. The picture proceeded. Wait, wait, I get paid at the end of the week. I get... Oh. Eviction proceedings will start Friday unless full payment is received by closing fit. Good day. Yeah, good day. Hi, Mr. Lee. Hey, Peter. We're all set for the party whenever you're ready. Cool. I'm on my way. Peter, good news. I think I smoothed things over with the Grant Committee. If Lance Corporal Texador's fitting tomorrow goes well, we should be okay. That's fantastic, Doc. We're back on track. Provisionally, as long as our little incident escaped the mayor's attention. You'll be at the fitting tomorrow? Definitely. It'll go great. We're gonna change the world, Doc. I'll settle for not starting any more fires. See you tomorrow, Peter. Here's to a successful day. As I warned, Nostradamus-like, after Spider-Man recklessly took down Wilson Fisk without preparing for the consequences, our streets are now filled with aspiring gangsters, each trying to out-psycho the other. My next guest is lucky to have survived an armed robbery. Sir, we're glad you're okay. Thanks. It was nuts. These dudes walk in like they own the place, waving guns around. Appalling. When a businessman is afraid to make an honest living. Yeah, it was a lifesaver that Spider-Man came along and stopped him. Weren't you listening? He caused the problem! I did... Forgive me for raising my voice. I'm emotional at the thought of what you went through. Jared, our caller seems shaken. Let's let him go. I'm fine. 
Mr. Lee's probably in the kitchen getting ready for the party. Hey, Pete. Good hey, Peter. You. Hey, guys. How's the game going? How's it look like it's going? I'm winning. Get this guy checked for dementia, Pete. I'm crushing him. Well, the important thing is having fun. <laughs> I have a lot of fun whooping his ass. Hey, Peter. <laughs> What's up? Just dropping in. Hey, Martin, so sorry I'm late. You were right on time. Just keep her distracted while we get everything ready. You got it. Hey, there's my favorite aunt. Peter, what a nice surprise. Need some help? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, there are some heavy no, boxes. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, not yet. I mean, I came to, uh, uh, uh I just, just wanted to talk. Okay. Okay. Um... Peter, are you in trouble? Do you need money? No, no I, mean, I mean, I'm a little behind on my rent, but no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Girl problems again, huh? What? No, that's crazy. I still wish you and MJ could work things out. She's a great girl. She is, but... The two of you would make some beautiful wow. baby. Uh... Peter. What is it? Come on, you can tell me. These past few years, you helping me through college and working here, and sacrificing so much and asking for nothing. I just wish there were more people like you in the world. He's right. Five years ago, you walked in here and told me you were inspired by my mission to help others. Now it's you who inspires me. Thank you, May, for everything. Here's for many more years of service. Thanks again for setting all this up. Oh, I just wish I could do more. Well, May's always told me if you help someone... You help everyone. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should send May to City Hall to have a word with the mayor. Oh, I gotta run. Um, thanks again for the party and everything. It, it really means a lot. Voicemail from Yuri. Should check it outside. I could patch these shoes. They'll last a while yet. Peter, right? Your aunt's been showing off baby pictures. Gloria, I'm new here. Spider-Man turned me on to this place. Oh, right. I mean, great. Uh, how do you like it? They're good people. I might stick around for a little while. Well, if there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. ...had moved in, which lasted much longer than police had hoped. However, once things quieted down, it wasn't long before Fisk himself came being escorted out of the building. Handcuffed and in hiding. This marked the same thing, and the first news... Voicemail from Yuri. Silent alarm at the auction house holding Fisk's estate sale just tripped. Could you check it out? Quietly? I don't want to make a scene if it's nothing. Fisk estate sale? Sounds fun. 
Wonder what the kingpin had hidden in his closets. Peter, I lost track of you at the party. Yeah, I, uh, I had to get to the lab. Sorry. Don't apologize. I just wanted to tell you how much what you said meant to me. I always wonder if I'm doing right by you. Well, stop wondering. After losing my parents and Uncle Ben, there are so many times I would have fallen apart if not for you. Well, that works both ways, Peter. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. May, I... I don't know what to say. Oh, I think Mr. Lee needs my help. I should go. See you soon, dear. I love you. Love you too. Better find a back way in. I am losing patience. Where is the file? There's someone else here. They must have taken it. Those masks. Who are these guys? There's no one here but us. We will find the file. Or you will die. This is bad. They'll kill her if I alert them. I need to pick them off silently. Yuri, the silent alarm was legit. Masked gunmen and a single hostage. Looks like a heist in progress. Copy that. Sending units your way. Keep the situation from getting worse in the meantime. Can do. Gotta do this quietly. Don't want to alert the others. They always look so cozy webbed up like that. Should web him from above. Whoa, careful. You stay quiet now. Someone's coming. They'll see me down here. Guys are getting ready to be bad. Got 
刚刚是什么鬼？哎 ，What is that？ 
Notice the intricate gold inlay on this ceremonial tea set. It's just... A friend in the DA's office mentioned that Fisk used art sales to launder stolen goods. I'm... sure I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, I know. I was just wondering, now that he's arrested, if you had ever noticed anything... strange. You know what? I'm actually running short of time. Why don't we grab the cover photo while we can? When I told my DA friend I was doing a piece on you, he mentioned your name was familiar. Just the photo, please. Stand right there. Are you sure there's nothing you'd like to say, maybe off the record, regarding Fisk's activities? I don't think your readers would have any interest in... Damn it. Wait here, please. Wait. I recognize that statue. I gotta get a photo. That shouldn't be here. Hello? Craig? Can you hear me? The connection is awful. Craig, I, I can barely hear you. Are you there? Can't go in now. She'll see me. Not while she's in there. Got it. Craig, I'll call you back. My dear, I think it's time for you to go. Oh, um, could I... Use the restroom real quick. Fine. Follow me. Thank you. This... This is a really lovely space. It is. And this will be the last time you see it. The ladies is around the corner. Be quick. Of course. Be right back. Hello, Craig. Funny you should call. Because the reporter you sent is clearly not working the puff piece we agreed upon. No, she's here now. I've got to get into that back room. If that statue is what I think it is, this just turned into a huge story. What do you mean he had to reschedule? If she's not your reporter... Who is she, Craig? Who is in my auction house? Oh my god. No, I do not trust you to fix this. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is have Miss Investigative Journalist arrested. And the second thing I'm going to do is collect your head, Craig. Dang, she's pissed. It is most definitely a threat. Uh-huh. Sure, Craig. Right. I don't believe you. Uh-huh. Sure, Craig. He told me about this. Fisk used it to hide evidence. Why didn't the cops take it? I know this statue opens, but how? That's the Neo behind them, but it looks different. She certainly is cozy with Fisk.
statue can move. Most common pose is latent power. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Hmm. Hmm. He's holding something. Maybe these pieces move. Catalog mentioned two poses. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Nice. So close. But a piece is missing. before. That's not right. Fits, but it's not the right one. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Hmm. Something's in one of his hands. What is that? That's it! Norman Osborne. What is this? Devil's breath. What is devil's... What the... Excuse me, sir. You... you can't be... Not good. Where's the statue? In... in... in, in there. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. Says the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay. Um, you hide back there. I take out the bad guys. You make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. D 
Did she change her perfume? Focus, Pete, focus. She don't! Yes, all right, of course. Should clear these guys out before I push forward. Sleep it off. Okay, Pete. I'm hidden near the front. Give the word and I'll make a break for it. Will do. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want so bad? Notes on something called Devil's Breath. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for it. Not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it seemed to scare Fisk. He compares it to Pandora's box. Not much shook Fisk. We need to get you and that file out of here. Hang tight. Gotta stay silent. There we go. Okay, room is clear. Please, don't hurt me. Keep it tight, Pete. That's all of them. No! Let me go! MJ! The hostage taking guys. Whoa, what is up with that glowy stuff on your hands? Are you guys ghosts? Never fought a ghost before. I mean, I've fought specters, but you know, technically, specters aren't ghosts. All ghosts are specters, but not all specters are ghosts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Huh. Looks antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. She's cleared out that other room. Uh, you know, hold them for transport. I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi. Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. You... You will not write a word of what you saw For the here. record, 
What do you know about the file those masked men stole? All right. Uh, that, I, I, what about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Mix? <laughs> like the last six months never happened? Since when did Mix become Italian? No idea, but I'm still glad he makes these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Hmm. Well... Yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. Uh, as soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hit. Sure, but Dr. Octavius' work will help millions. I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends? Is that what we are? Well, maybe we could be, you know, if, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things, too, like, uh... Like money and uh, keys, and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Cool. I love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. Hey, it's me. What's with the units heading down third? Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker. Didn't he just get paroled? Yeah, well, I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner with my ex after saving her from mass criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the Grand Committee stops by again... Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep? Please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. Hi, Herman. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just pull me down! Wow, that's considerate. Herman? What do you think? 
Actually, I don't. Just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level! Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Gotcha. Now let's talk. I said I'm done talking! Noted. Honestly, Hermit, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it at you later. Your choice. Is Zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah. Whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. I understand we have another low information caller who thinks we're better off thanks to Spider-Man. Let's see if I can set her straight. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. I just want to say that I've never seen Manhattan so safe and peaceful. Compare what it was like when Spider-Man first showed up to now. Okay, fair enough, I will. Then, we had police and firefighters doing a wonderful job. There was crime, sure but nothing they couldn't handle. Of course, we do have things now we didn't have then. Maniacs who shoot electricity out of their eyes. Walking piles of sand. Nazis made of bees! Didn't Spider-Man put all those guys in jail? You're missing the point! They didn't exist before he came along. At best, he attracts them. But I've often wondered if they're in cahoots. Wow, I've never actually heard anyone say cahoots before. Look, all I'm saying is, I hate to imagine what would have happened if all those guys showed up in Spider-Man. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. You guys holding up all right? This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked. She's not gonna.
Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry. I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just... I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. I lose track of time. 
that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. You're on with J. Jonah Jason. Yeah, I see your point, but Spider-Man stopped those guys today. Saying he's like them because he wears a mask isn't fair. It's like prejudice. Wrong. Here's a little lesson in the English language, my friend. Prejudice means to prejudge someone before you know anything about them. I know all I need to about Spider-Man. He runs around causing chaos, wearing a mask so he doesn't have to answer for his shenanigans. To feed his gigantic, insatiable ego. Now, if I'm a mentally unstable person, and I see him getting all this coverage, what am I going to do? It's called copycat behavior, people, and it's ruining New York. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped. 
and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn! Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Sounds like they've quietly established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. A vacuum I created by putting Fisk away? Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep God bothering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman actually, pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon. I've always been about the truth. When I was a reporter and a newspaper publisher, I printed the truth. And now, as a broadcaster, I speak. Sometimes it hurts. But it's my responsibility to bring it to you. And the truth is, the city is not quiet. It is not peaceful. It is a disaster waiting to happen. Threats roiling under the surface like a hungry shark just beneath the waterline. Don't let Spider-Man fool you. You are not safe. None of us are. I can't believe I haven't slept since the Fisk takedown. Gotta start taking better care of myself. What are you doing here so late? So, I got the job. May's recommendation really helped. People know that when she Hope says Hope May's couch is comfortable. Miss you. So I was into horses. Wasn't everybody at some point? Wish May would take some of this down. It's embarrassing. Man, was I ever a dork. Well, we all have an awkward face. I can't take this. You can, and you will. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. Just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? Uh, 
really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I guess I better get busy. <sighs> Hope Mr. Lee's okay. Hello? Hey, did you see my story? I did. Robbie must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Wow. Wait, isn't Osborne's campaign rally this after- Oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah, we all do. But still, a pretty cool moment for Officer Davis and his family. I'll be there covering it. Wanna join me? Yeah, of course. See you then. <laughs>